Hello everyone and welcome back to Chief Bush Gaming. Wow, it has been a long time and, I, and I'm sorry about that guys. Uh, really, what it all had come down to is the software I was using to actually play Brave Frontier, that Blue Stacks emulator as I had spoke about in the earlier videos, just really irked me. You know, just how long it took to play a single match or even just sell a unit was ridiculous. So. I'm all set up now with Andy Roid. Uh, I can go back to hitting the videos. Uh, there are no special vortex gates right now, but uh, I'll get to that later. In the meantime, this is just going to be a brief little how-to, just how to get this working for Andy Roid, um, for those who can't. So I had tried with a previous version. Uh, pretty much all the steps that I'm going to be telling you guys about today and it still didn't work so they have at least updated Android, and uh, yeah it has certainly increased the compatibility features <clears throat> as well it's super fast like unreal compared to blue stacks uh, as for genie motion it still doesn't work for me I don't know what's going on there but Oh well, so first thing you're going to need is a CPU with virtualization. Uh, if you've ever used Vor uh, Oracle Virtual Machine before, um, you'd probably have this enabled already. But in case you don't, or you don't even know what it is, I'll include the link to uh, CPU Z. Now, what CPU Z will do is just give you a little, little bit of stats on the uh, on your CPU and, and tell you yes or no if you have it. So I'll put up a little picture here of what it looks like if you do have the virtualization now if you do and it's still not working um, you may not have it enabled so mine was not enabled uh, it seems to be whenever I get blue screened of death it'll it'll just reset my BIOS to default anyways I'll put up another picture of what it looks like where to activate it on most common motherboards um, and it should be able to get you set up from there as well uh, a big thing is deleting any old images you had from the last time you either installed Genie Motion, Android. All of it can be uh, conflicting to this new version. So, if you go into your users file uh, and then whatever your account name is, mine's Chief Bush, uh, and just search for Oracle there. That's what Android and Genie Motion all run off of. Uh, you'll be able to find the folder and just delete any sort of images that are in there. Um, as for that, so once you have gone ahead, deleted all of the uh, all of the remaining images from any sort of previous uh, previous installations you have encountered, um, as well, go to your add and remove hardware, remove the previous Andy, remove the previous Genie Motion, get rid of Blue Stacks because we don't need it anymore, and uh, Oracle, Oracle as well, the uh, the Virtual Box that'll be in there, um, and then yeah, do a fresh fresh install of Andy. And it works from there, at least it works for me. Make sure you also have 3 gigs of RAM, it, um, it recommends that. Oh, don't you just wish the raid battles were coming up. Anyways, uh, yeah, that pretty much does it. Just trying to help out more people, considering blue stacks can be a total fucking bummer. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Bye.